the latest uh, firmware from uh, Android is Oreo. <laughs> Oreo, what, what is it, 8.3? Yeah, yeah, like 8.0 <laughs> or something. Something like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> and Hacks currently does not like that Oreo update. Yeah, but, you know, he's, tra he's trying to make it, you know, the box as fair as possible, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait, who's going oh. Marth? Oh, yeah, Vortex uh, said that he was going to go Marth this tournament. That's what I heard. So let's see what's going to happen because you guys know how amazing Hax is versus Marf. You know, he used to beat the moon all the time when the moon used to come to the locals, stuff like that. So. Especially, like, how the way Hax edge guards Marf, I feel like it's really good. Where, yeah. Whereas a lot of Foxes just cannot edge guard Marf. You know? They'll just get clipped by the up B or something like that. But we'll see. Maybe Vortex got some tricks of his own. And are they playing right now? Oh, never mind. I thought they were playing for a moment. They were kind of scrappling, but... I guess it's just more warm-ups, some hand calentadores. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but I've never seen Vortex's Mars, so I don't know how he'll be able to do against uh, the caliber of Fox that Hax has. But yeah. uh, I'm worried about Hax, though, because like, when he was recovering uh, a couple days ago, some of the angles were... Just straight up dead angles. I'm not, I don't know what happened when, when he was trying to do go for angles, but there were times that he just went straight down. When obviously he could just gone straight in. But we'll see. We'll see. And looks like they're gonna start the match straight up. All right. So here we go. Hacks versus Vortex is Marth. Mm -hmm. Gets a running shot up throw up air. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah. He tried to get the right positioning to get the third up air. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. Oh, okay, unfortunate right there for Vortex. Yeah, first stock falls. Mm -hmm. Hacks with the slight advantage this time, but guess the wow. grab? That grab range was Marth, Marth privilege. Yeah. Oh, my God. If Hacks would have gotten that there, I mean, that shine after the dare. Mm -hmm. Okay, just juggling it. Ooh. Tips. Oh, oh he actually could have gotten a forward smash. Maybe not Tipper, but at least he could have sent him yeah. off the stage. Oh. And there's a Tipper right there. Oh, what a taunt. <laughs> He's like, everybody, look at me. Tries to go for it, but I think he wanted to go for the drab reset. Yep. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, man. Nice DI. Yep. Yeah. See, in those situations, right, especially because the platform's right there, if you go for bear, uh -huh. you could probably get the bear and then land on the platform and immediately get a dash attack and then go for an up air or another bear. Mm -hmm. so you could extend the combo. Yeah, but, oh, Hax doesn't roll in. Oh, my God, that praha. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. He said, "What? You ain't gonna sweet spot nothing. I got this uh, great move called uh, Reflector, <laughs> which is oh. for some reason called the Shine." Yeah. All right. Oh, a little flub by a uh, little flubs by Vortex. But let's see another edge guard situation. But then. Oh no! Getting battlefielded right there. Mm -hmm. That was a good fair too, but unfortunately, just responded a little bit late to doing the up B. E. Thought yeah. he would just grab ledge. Yeah. I oh. Barely spaces out, but then Vortex shots for the oh. grab. Yeah, right there, Vortex definitely could have just up tilted. Yeah, see, I don't know why he's waiting to go for uppers, even though he's getting a lot of damage right now. Great DI by Hax. He definitely doesn't want to get Ken comboed, but then in that situation, it's kind of like a 50 50. Yeah. Because you DI too much with no jumps. And that was a good read right there by uh, Vortex. Yep, now he regains back to center stage, but let's see how Hax is going to be pushing his way forward, immediately switching around. Oh, that, I think that platform castle kind of messed up Vortex just a little okay, bit, but there we'll it see. goes. There's the up tilt. Yup, yup. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh and he, knew he was no. gonna jump for real? Dang. And that DI though by Hacks. I think he was trying to fast fall as well. Oh no. O almost happened again. Uh-huh. Okay. Great gets the nair. nair on incoming. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be this could be the start of the of the loss of the stock. Oh yeah, no. more privilege. Go for the back air, but nice roll oh, evading the grab. He, he definitely just missed his grab. And, oh, he was a little bit late on that. He had that. Yeah. He could have sent Hax off stage right there with that F smash. Oh, man. But, but Vortex making a valiant effort here with his Mar versus Hax. And he, he had, like, two SDs, too. Yep. Almost made the comeback while Hax was, like, trying to, like, push himself away. But we'll see how... We'll see how Vortex is going to do. Maybe yeah. Yoshi's. I'm guessing Yoshi's or maybe Fountain, one or the other. Hacks probably bans FD. Oh. But uh, we'll 
we'll see, we'll see. Okay, oh, uh, looks like they're going Pokemon. Which is actually a stage that I actually don't like as a Marth. Yep. I don't know why people take them, just because PPU takes them. Yeah. Media shine there. Oh, almost got the shine. I think just grabbing the ledge would have been better for hacks, but that's got second least for life for Vortex to see if he can take the stop. But right now, yep. it's got a situation. Oh, oh yeah. Hack's been recognizing. Yeah, he's been doing that a little bit too much where he does an incoming to stop the person, you know, to stop hacks from grabbing the ledge. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you can't spam too much. Despite it working once, you can't yeah. try to force the second way in. Oh, that oh. actually could have been forward smash tipper. When somebody does a super DI like that from an up throw and they DI behind, uh -huh. at, that, at mid percentage, you could get, get that tipper. Ooh, and I love that way. Oh, Hacks oh. trying to go for the fair to up smash. But well, that was that was so lucky by Vortex that he ended up sliding and then grabbing the ledge. Because it's an option select. Mm -hmm. Because then if they land on the on the floor, if they do the proper DI to avoid the up smash, then you get a tech chase into up smash anyway. Yeah, but yeah. dag that angle though. Yeah. Hacks still got those angles. Mm -hmm. Option coverage, but let's see if he's going to be able to option coverage. Hacks is tech chase in the situation now that this stage transformation is coming in. Oh, oh you say wait, and I like that because he kept like re grabbing the ledge over and over and over, uh -huh. just tr baiting him out to you know jump early or air dodge, which he just did. Oh, and he could. Oh my God, he could have. He could have just did the infinite right there. Yeah, <laughs> but Hacks just wanted to go for double shine, reminiscent to one of his matches back in the day. Mark Fox. Uh, Hax is just like playing at 5,000 miles per hour here. And as I say that, he went <laughs> 5,000 miles per hour to his death. <laughs> <laughs> From the stage to the to the down belows. Oh. But right now, all right, straight is changing back. Gets in there quick. Yep. Oh, unfortunately, no punish. I think Hax kind of hesitated a little bit. Yeah. Back Ooh, air, the yeah. the Trixies. Yeah. Sometimes side being too close to the ledge can be a free punish. For a fox that can recognize it. Oh! Almost gets a shot right there. Yeah. Up throw up there. Almost got the back air, but Vortex fast fall. Yeah, see, case. he's done it again. Yeah. yeah. Can't do it. You can't do it three times a charm. Yep. And then Hax takes it 2 0. From yeah. what could have been a possible game three with a game one situation kind of getting towards Vortex's favor, but. Well, sometimes it happens, and it looks like it's going to be Wasabi versus Schlocks.